What's going on guys, it's Cliffy here. Welcome to round two of my NRL Auckland Nines career mode with the Newcastle Knights. We picked up a win against the West Tigers last time around, 7 to nil. We'll be looking to do the same, but we are taking on a slightly tougher opposition in the form of the Brisbane Broncos. Filled with obviously all their stars, I've got Darius Boyd who is on the ball now and we're looking to try and cut him down. I don't actually know... Um, who else they have playing in this Nines tournament. I'm guessing probably Ben Hunt's in there. Uh, Milford. There's Milford on the ball right there. Uh, ben Hunt as well. So we've got two. Sorry, we've got three out of three so far. So we're doing pretty well. Uh, Sammy Thide, maybe. Matt Gillett. I don't know. Corey Oates, possibly. But anyway. We picked up a win last time around. If you think we can go two from two, let me know down below in the comments now what a tackle that is from Sione Matatia. And it means that there has only been 20 metres gained from this first set uh, from the Broncos. And that has been picked up by Nathan Ross, who is going to get some good metres. I was going to say heading back towards the halfway line, um, but does only manage to get, or doesn't get far actually, it gets pushed back um, towards the 40, but... A good start this, and uh, we will continue to carry on. That's a very, very slow play of the ball uh, by... I don't know who that was that took that tackle, but a very, very slow play of the ball, and that's not what we want. We want quick plays of the ball, and we want to get our players involved where we can. So Tupo goes down, 27 metres gained in that first set for the Knights, uh, and we are going to actually try and go to our playmaker this time. Put up a bomb. I have no idea how to contest these things. Um, but hey, we will take it, and that is just straight up, straight down. Good take by Darius Boyd, you know, that's why he is, uh, well, I was going to say the Queen's the number one, but obviously with Billy the Kid back now, um, definitely got to go with Slater ahead of him. It'll be interesting to see uh, when it comes to World Cup time where Darius Boyd does fit into the Kangaroos' plans as well, because... Oh, I was going to say, don't let him get on the outside, David Mead. Only 13 metres. So this has been a very good uh, defensive display from both teams so far. Um, there's been hardly anything, and that is going to definitely help. That is a handover. Corey Oates going to kick on the last, gets ankle tapped, and that has given the Knights a uh, great field position here. Gets the offload away as well, and a big hit. That I don't know who that was from, but that was an enormous hit. Brock Lamb! Finds a hole, and he does manage to get away. So the young 5'8 from Newcastle gets in under the post. Just his... I don't know if that's a nines or just a... a my, Brock Lamb played last season, I'm pretty sure. Or is it his first season this season? Anyway, Brock Lamb gets through and uh, grabs himself his first try. He has picked himself up now. Actually, he might be on debut. He might not, um, going back to the start of the 2017 season, he may not have played a game. But a great piece of individual skill uh, from the young Newcastle 5'8 there. And that is a perfect start. But I was going to say, don't tell me that we're going to kick this one out on the full. High tackle, you've got to be kidding me. First tackle as well. That is not what we need, boys. Minute and a half left to go in the first half. Uh, similar kind of thing when we played against the Tigers. Um... We were, you know, we were very good. We were good defensively, and we did manage to pick up that try just before half time. So we just want to make sure that we don't slacken off. Uh, don't let the Broncos back into this game with a late try, because um, otherwise that is going to kind of undo all of our hard work, which we don't want to do. We do definitely not want to undo all that hard work uh, that we have done so far. So there's, I think that's Corbin Sims actually, and uh, there is only about 20 seconds left to go. So you'd have to say that they are going to get. Uh, probably a kick here if they can get up and play the ball quick enough, uh, which they haven't actually been able to do. So, uh, again, a good half from the Knights. Very good half from the Knights. They are hidden, uh, once again, in the lead, 7-0. to nil, uh, And that is perfect. So here comes Ben Hunt with the kick. And it's going, I was going to say it's going across to the left, but it's going pretty straight. Uh, and it's straight down Dane Gagai's throat. And he is just going to get a head of steam on and run it up. That is exactly what he has done. Um, I've got Levi playing in the halves. I'm trying to think if there's any Newcastle Knights fans out there, make sure you drop a like as well um, on the video. But I'm just trying to think. Uh, there was another guy who started with K who was starting, but I think Danny Levi is actually starting um, for the Knights in their games this season. So offload that, Hopkinson. I tried to. I tried to offload it early, but that's alright. We'll go back. I'm still, that's, I was going to say, I'm still getting used to kicks, but that's actually a, a very good, 
What is he doing? I was going to say, who is that? Corey Oates, what are you up to, son? Just letting the ball bounce, letting it do whatever uh, the hell it likes. You're offside. Get back onside. Oh, this is not good. But what a tackle from Danny Levi, the hooker. Getting the job done. The uh, the Newcastle Knights defence there at sixes and sevens, literally um, trying to sort out what they wanted to do. And I must say, my defence is getting a hell of a lot better compared to what it was. Like, my defence, at the, when I first got the game, my defence was absolutely atrocious. It was so bad. Um, so it's good to see that it is slightly getting better. That's a fairly high kick, but not a far kick. Um, and that's good. Gagai is going to bring that up towards the 40 metre line. So that's, um, that's a good start. And he's going to go down the short side to Sione Matatia. And he has broken through, would you believe? Whoa, what a try! From one of the Matautia brothers, and that is Sioni, who dots down, picks up, I believe, his first try in Nine's footy. And uh, this is going to be a tough kick for Brock Lamb, but I have faith. I've got faith that we can do this. Straight up. Oh, Brock Lamb. What can't the kid do? He scored a try, kicked two goals, the first of which was right in front. But that one there from the sideline. Uh, and that is a very good sign with only about three and a half minutes left to go. Oh, my God. Why do I always kick it in touch on the full? I don't know how you kick a drop kick that far, to be fair. 50 metres. That is a big kick. And I think, was that into the wind? I'm not sure. But anyway, this is going to be good field position for the Knights. Really do need to score early in this set, it must be said, with just three minutes left to go uh, in the game for them to get, well, to pick up a win. And I think a win here today for the Knights, I haven't checked the other results that we've had so far, but you have to say, in any tournament that there's just a group of four, if you pick up your first two wins, you're looking pretty sorted um, to grab yourselves a spot in the knockout stages. So hopefully we can do that here. They actually, I was going to say, have an overlap. But Brock Lamb, what a game the kid is having. Um, he is just absolutely smashing it, it must be said. And here we go. I have no idea how to contest the ball. But it doesn't matter because Ross has come up with it. Would you believe? What a take. And um, possibly when we get into the full NRL season, we'll look at moving him back uh, to fullback. Oh, Brock Lamb races on through, he's got no speed, is he going to get there, you betcha, what a performance from this kid, he's picked himself up two tries, um, I don't know if he had a try assist on the other one, but he's going to probably pick himself up three goals as well, um, so Brock Lamb, the man, the myth, the bloody legend, the youth of Newcastle, getting the job done, and they go out to a 20 to nil lead with just 15 seconds left to go, and this has been a much better performance than that game against the Tigers. We've really started to get it going. And, but, and so, oh my God. I need to put less power on it, to be fair. Um, it's not going to matter though, because the full-time siren has gone. The Knights pick themselves up a second win. That is two from two in the nine so far. The Broncos go down, and that is going to be very interesting to see what does happen uh, with our last game. If we are going to need to win it to make it through, or if we are through already thanks to these first two wins that we have gone and picked up against both the Tigers and the Brisbane Broncos. So anyway, guys, I'm going to wrap things up here. Again, let's show some massive love for this video. Once again, let's aim for 100 likes, so make sure to smash that like button down below. If you are new, please do subscribe. Returning subscribers, make sure you hit the bell. That way, you be well, you become a part of the notification squad. And what that means is you get notified every time I go live with a video. It is the best way to keep up with everything that is going on with the channel. Going to wrap things up here, guys. Hope you have enjoyed the Rugby League content that has been coming to you guys lately. Plenty more left to come in the weeks coming. Until next time, Kakite Anoa, see you soon.